What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is a collective general reading. This can resonate if you have any um, chart, um, any zodiac signs in your charts, caps, your side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Okay, so I got this channel the end. Merry Christmas, everybody, by the way. Merry Christmas. It's 3 a.m. Central Standard Time on December 25th, 2021. I went to bed early because, you know, me and myself, I went to bed early because that's the way I rolled on Christmas Eve. And um, I got up and I got channeling. So um, it's, whew, you would think they'd be all... Well, you wouldn't think they'd be all happy, happy, happy on Christmas, but they're not just saying, so I'm going to share it. Okay, so the channel I received was um, several lawsuits are about to occur in several Secret 7 communities soon. Um, some have already started being filed, um, been filed, and some uh, others are about to be filed. Is what I heard. They all kind of came in together like 30 seconds to 45 seconds after each other. Um, but then I heard um, um, gag orders are going to be put into place for these lawsuits um, to prevent community out war. I heard gag orders are going to be put in place to permit, prevent community out war. And then I heard the last one I heard in this group was a very significant defamation of character um, lawsuit is going to be very significant in one of these situations along with other um, other issues. So whatever the other issues are. So you plug it in however it resonates, if that resonates in your life. Um, that's a long but strong one. Like I said, that came in like 30 seconds to 45 seconds after each other. Now, we have pulled in defamation of character in the readings before. Um, it's a legal aid term. And, but I don't know what gag order is as far as um, um, legal is concerned. I don't know what a gag order is. So, um, we're going to look this up. It's something to do with legal, I'm presuming, because I heard the um, legal sector is going to put Gag, some have already, many lawsuits are coming in. Many lawsuits are coming in in several Secret 7 communities. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what the Secret uh, most of you guys do know what the Secret 7 is because I've been pulling it in for forever, forever, ever, so much so I had to get it copyrighted um, on here because people were selling my stuff. But, um, so most of you guys know what it is by now. But it's technically... Somebody placed a hidden camera in somebody's house illegally where they were paying this person or people. It's primarily single people they were doing this to. It was a scam. It was a huge scam is basically what it was. Because the hidden cameras that were placed in people's homes, and it was several people's homes it was done to. Um, it originated in Huntsville, Alabama or originally. But nobody, the community in Huntsville, Alabama wasn't doing anything about it. And they allowed it. It went on for years. In the one in Huntsville, Alabama, years. So the people that were feeding through the camera, which were, were there were a ton of people that were, the scammers and spammers and criminals and you know people that wanted to do it behind the scenes and dirty, dirty, um, that were viewing in through the hidden camera, illegal hidden camera in that home, particular home in Huntsville, Alabama, saw how it was done and saw their the community did not do anything about it. So they started doing it in their communities, which made it spread all over other areas, other countries. I mean, all over the place. And it got to the point where other spiritualists, like true light side spiritualists, were picking up on the energy. Um, I mean, it became that crazy. Um, that crazy. And now the one original one in uh, Huntsville, Alabama has been shut down now. It's been shut down now, but it's because the community had to do it. They had to. They had to because they knew single mom Leo would sue the hell out of them. And they didn't want that. They didn't want that. So um, 
just a little very quick recap of the Secret 7 for anybody who doesn't know. But I heard several Secret 7 communities. So it's not just, it might be the one in Huntsville, Alabama, and it might be others, but several Secret 7 communities. Um, so whatever Secret 7 communities that is, is what I'm trying to say. Because I didn't hear specifically which ones. But it's two plus Secret 7 type communities. But hidden camera energy, basically, is what that is. Okay, so gag order. A judge's order that a case may not be discussed in public. Um, the example on this via Google definition is the council was forced to abandon an attempt to impose a gag order on this newspaper on Friday. That's the example Google definition gives. So I'll say it one more time. Gag order. So it's an official judge's order, apparently. Um, a judge's order that a case may not be discussed in public. The council was forced to abandon an attempt to impose a gag order on this newspaper on Friday. So I heard in the spirit message that basically it was going to be is um, that the legal sector, so I'm assuming a judge or judges, are going to impose gag orders on these lawsuits. Some have already been filed. Some are about to be filed. Uh, but it's regarding some kind of secret 7S type energy. Now, however that resonates in one's life but um something something to do with either i'm assuming a core member of the secret seven or something that happened regarding a result of secret seven type behavior but i heard the legal sector so a judge or judges are about to do this um to uh, basically quelch the community to quelch the community so the community um whatever community this is um doesn't know they don't know these lawsuits are going into place but the thing is the community knew about the camera the community knew about the camera in the home uh, or homes however that resonates and so um they're trying to impose the gag order so the lawsuits cannot be discussed in public so the public doesn't know what's going on but yet they allowed the public to view in through a hidden camera for years so it imposed and stepped on people's light, rights and liberties, uh, families' rights and liberties. So, but you know, I don't see that family being compensated. I don't see that family being compensated, which they should. That family should be freaking bazillionaires. They should be freaking bazillionaires by now. And um, family or families, because there's many families that were affected. So, and I'm serious about that. I'm serious. Um, so. You plug it in how it resonates. And then I heard, um, what was it? Defamation of character suit is going, there's many lawsuits in here. Some have already been filed. Some are about to be filed. But many lawsuits that basically have stemmed from the Secret 7 situation. Whatever Secret 7 situation that is in your area or community or what have you. But um, a very particular defamation of character suit um, is going to be significant in this as well, along with other issues in that suit so um you plug it in however that resonates i'm going to look up definition defamation of character so everybody's on the same page as, with that as well um i brought in defamation of character in the energy space before but we're going to do it again because it, it's coming up again Defamation of character. A false statement someone makes about you, which they publish as a statement of fact and which harms your personal situation and um, reputation in the community. And I'll read another definition. Defamation of character is the communicating of a false message in order to cause severe harm to another person's reputation. Yeah. So it's publicly displaying lies basically it's publicly displaying lies to harm somebody's reputation or character or to harm their career or to do something of that nature um something of that nature in some shape or profession so you plug it in how it resonates we'll pull a couple cards um and let's see if i hear anything else
Someone in the legal sector is getting severe pressure to make this right in one particular Secret 7 community. Severe pressure. Several shocking series of shame events are about to occur in this person's own personal life to push them to do so. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard um, somebody in one of these Secret 7 communities are basically... Um, uh, being, I heard being, um, pr uh, pr pressured or it sounds like peer pressure or professional pressure or both. It sounds like with, from their colleagues. Cause I mean, that's a serious, serious, serious situation. Serious. Um, I heard try again. I heard try again. I got unexpected income reverse marriage upright. I heard try again. Um, I'm sure they're getting it from all ends is what I'm saying. They're probably getting it on a personal level, professional level, because they didn't do the right thing in the past, which caused many Secret 7 situations. It caused a hot mess freaking express. Um, it just did. And it caused many, I mean, that's law, charge after charge after lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. I mean, you cannot view in through a hidden camera in somebody's home. You cannot do that. You just cannot do that. I don't care where the hell you are. And that's just the truth. I don't care if you make $5 a year or $5 million a year. You cannot do that to somebody. That is invading rights, civil rights, and liberties. Green Bay doesn't know that. Just saying. But um, I heard somebody in the legal sector is um, getting heavy pressure. So it sounds like they already are getting heavy legal, um, heavy, sorry, not heavy legal, heavy pressure to make it right. Um, and I heard several shocking series of chain events are about to occur in their own in their own personal life soon. That's basically going to wake them up and wake them out of some kind of stupor and have them do take some kind of action. Um, it might be delivering some kind of information or truth or um, getting an investigation going or something of that nature. You plug it in, how it resonates. There are messages you have to plug in. But they think one of these Secret Seven communities, or it sounds like several, thinks that they're going to, a gag order from a judge is going to um, to shut the communities, I mean, to um, prevent the lawsuits from going public to the public is going to prevent all the um, chatter and gossip and uh, information flow from coming out. But it, I, I don't know. It's going to backfire in some ways. The gag orders will be kept, but it's a going to backfire in other ways. Big time. Okay, I heard it's going to backfire in other ways. Um, the gag orders will be kept, so the gag orders will be kept. So. They will be kept. Um, I'm assuming the lawyers and the um, plaintiffs and defendants and subpoenaed witnesses and witnesses and what have you are all going to keep their mouth shut about it. But I heard it's going to backfire severely in other ways. So I think members of the community are going to find out whether people want them to know or not, basically. I, I mean, not from the, I don't, obviously not from the attorneys or the judge or the plaintiffs or defendants or subpoena witnesses or witnesses they're not going to find out that way they're going to find out other ways um oh my god look what we got on the bottom deck yeah i mean they're trying to keep these rich assholes out of jail in prison basically they basically abused a family that is the sickest form of manipulation that i've ever seen in my entire life and the sad part is, they got rich off that family. They got rich off the family. They were poor as, they were poor as fuck before. Poor as fuck. With severe addictions and habits. Those, most of those people still have severe addictions and habits. But yet they're trying to protect these assholes. Because they have money now? Well, no, nay, 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 nay. Their little ass or asses need to be behind bars like Jeffrey freaking Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. Just saying, just saying. If anybody needs to hear that. 
Someone's having a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard someone's having a huge wake-up call. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I got this one reversed, but I heard take it upright. I got that one reversed. Got house upright, mature man upright, and then I got that one reversed. I heard take it upright. You got adjudication. Okay, so number 20, 30, or 5 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 20, 30, or 5. Um, they could be significant numbers in one's life, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible social security number, green card number, um, date of birth number, lottery number, jersey number, etc., etc., 20, 30, or 5. Um, also, um, they could be reoccurring numbers, reoccurring numbers you're seeing out in the universe in some shape, form, or fashion. 20, 30, or 5. And I want to point out, we have 5, which 555 five, five is change. Change. Huge changes coming soon and quickly. Okay, I heard huge changes coming soon and quickly. And one very significant pregnancy in this is about to get out in the community whether people want it to or not. Oh, okay. So I heard from spirit. I mean, I, I figured there was change anyways with five, with five, five, five. But I heard spiritual messages that huge changes were coming with this anyways. So um, I thought, I intuitively thought it with the five, five, five um, number up here with change. But I heard confirmation from spirit basically that it's um, changes are coming with it anyways. Whether, I mean, they're trying to control it. The Legal sector is trying to control it with gag orders, basically. They're trying to control it with gag orders. But it's going to change anyways. It's going to change anyways, which I heard the gag orders are going to be kept. They're going to be kept. So the people are going to do what they are ordered to do by a judge. They're going to do it. They're not going to speak on it, the judge, obviously, because they're the one ordering it, or the, um, or the lawyers, or the um, defendant or plaintiffs, or subpoenaed witnesses, or um free willing witnesses they're not going to speak on it uh it's going to come out other ways other ways and one of the ways it sounds like is about uh, is a pregnancy i heard a pregnancy is about to become very very significant in one of these um lawsuits that are about to um either have already had a gag order put on them or is about to have a gag order put on them and um um it's about to become very significant in one of these and it sounds like it's about to get out in the community it's about to get out like wildfire. And it's going to create many, 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 many series of chain events in the community. Okay, I heard it's about to get out like wildfire and create basically a ton of many series of chain events in the community. So I think people are about to gossip about the um, the pregnancy. Not child, because it's not child yet. They're about to gossip about the pregnancy. Somebody's pregnant in here. Um. Now, it might be a spouse of one of these people in a lawsuit, in one of these lawsuits, because there's two plus lawsuits. It might be a spouse. It might be a third party. It might be a child. We've had a lot of teenager pregnancy in here. It might be um, some, It might be a child that's pregnant by a pedophile. We've had a lot of that in here, too. You plug it in how it resonates with some kind of significant pregnancy in one of these lawsuits. I wouldn't put it past if it was a pedophilia-type pregnancy. And I'm just being serious about that. Or a teenage pregnancy. Or that um, nasty older Libra. Um, very immature, sleeps with everybody and their mama. Older, 40 and above Libra. That created the freaking Secret 7. Um, she basically created it. So I wouldn't put it past. Because her legs were open for business for everybody. All the masculine energies and feminine fem energies in the core members of the Secret 7 in the original Secret 7 story. So I really wouldn't put it past, but who knows? You plug it in, how it resonates. House upright.
I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. Someone's mother is very upset about all these legal matters, but they help create them. And for one of these particular situations, the mother is about to be in the middle of a lawsuit soon. 40 and above mother. Oh my God, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I heard someone's mother is very upset that basically all these legal matters are happening. So I'm assuming happening to her sibling, I'm not her sibling, sorry, her ch children or maybe her favorite children and maybe she has a black sheep and she could care less, but she's, but it, oh God forbid if her um, favorite child or favorite children get middle lawsuits, oh dear God, oh, you know, it's just an example, but you plug it in how it resonates, but her, she's upset. She's a 40 and above them energy. And she's basically upset that um, it sounds like her child or children or, um, or maybe favorite, favorite child or children or in the middle of lawsuits or maybe, she, um, well, it's not her. It's not her, but somebody she's connected to, whether it's a favorite child or children or something of that nature is either about to be in the middle of lawsuits or they are in the middle of lawsuits. I think it's regarding property or this could be secret seven energy uh, with the house upright. So it either could be regarding property or regarding secret seven because to me house upright is secret seven energy hidden camera in a house unauthorized hidden camera in a house so that's secret seven energy so to me it's secret seven energy because i heard secret seven in here um or um over property but i heard basically she's upset this 40 and above them energy she's upset that sounds like her favorite child or children in the middle of lawsuits or they're about to be or somebody she's connected to um, and, but basically she's about to be pulled in the middle of one, two, What she doesn't know is she's about to be pulled in, pulled in the middle of one, two, if she's 40 and above. She's feminine energy, but it sounds like at least one of her children in the universe is pulled in the middle of this and she's pissed about it. But what she don't know, she's about to be pulled in the middle of, pulled into the middle of it too. Judication upright. Many proceedings coming. Many. And when someone finds out for sure these lawsuits are coming and they will find out around the gag order, they're going to file lawsuits of their own. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. So I heard, um, Wow, holy crap. So I heard basically um many lawsuits are coming and we were that was already confirmed in here. Confirmed in here. Many lawsuits are coming regarding these secret seven S type situations. Um, but I heard it sounds like many people are about to find out that these are about to go on. I I heard once they find out it's confirmed. So whoever this is, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, you want to know if um this I guess resonates in your community. You want to know whoever this is. Um, but I heard once you find out and it's confirmed, it is the truth. I heard around the gag order. So you're going to find out if this resonates with you, if this resonates with you, it may not or it may, but if it's for you, you're going to find out around the gag order, meaning you're going to find out that these lawsuits are going on, but you're not going to, you're going to find out some way around the gag order. So however you find out around the gag order is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I have no clue, but you all, somehow you're going to. I didn't hear how you're going to find out around the gag order. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming no, man, no manipulations going on here. There's no going to be sleeping with um, a bailiff or sleeping with a judge or having Uncle Joey, the um, Sally Sue that you went to high schools with, um, judge over for dinner and manipulate them um there was a heavy 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 amount of manipulation going on when that hidden camera energy was in that home heavy but now they're trying not to um, manipulate the community anymore because they've gotten themselves in such heavy water doing that but whoever you are you're not in the middle of that is what i'm saying you were on the outskirts of this i'm feeling i feel you're on the outskirts of this but you sounds like you want to file a lawsuit on someone in this situation 
But you're trying to figure out, or you're about to try to figure out if this is really confirmed, if it's true and confirmed in your community is what it sounds like here. But I heard you are going to find out around the gag order. Um, hopefully, I don't know how you find out is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I wish I would. I wish I knew. I don't know. But it could resonate in a million different ways. But what I'm trying to say is I don't think it's manipulation of the legal people. Because, nay, nay. It's not manipulation of the legal people. I, it might be manipulation of other people, but not the legal people and not the subpoenaed witnesses or free willing witnesses. So somehow you're going to find out whether it's with manipulation or not manipulation, you're going to find out. But I heard once you find out and it's confirmed, so it's confirmed for you, um, you're going to file a lawsuit too. So I think it's one of these people that's already in lawsuit or lawsuits, adjudication upright. So that's lawsuit energy all day long. Mature man. For some, you're going to find out through paperwork. Someone leaves around very care carelessly. Oh, whoa. Okay, I heard for at least for one of you guys in the universe, you're going to find out through paperwork that someone leaves around, leaves around carelessly. So maybe you do know, maybe you are true friends with uh, somebody in the legal sector. Maybe you go over their house, maybe you go swimming there, maybe you have tea and crumpets with them, maybe you Easter egg hunt there. I, hell, I don't know. Um, maybe, or maybe you're a housekeeper. I don't know, but somehow you're going to find out through some kind of paperwork that's about to be left out basically carelessly you're about to, so i think it might be some kind of subpoena energy or court documentation or court ledger or what have you or some kind of legal ledger of some shape form or fashion possibly and that's how you're going to find out or that's because i think it, i don't think it's just word of mouth is what i'm trying to say i don't think it's word on the street i don't think it's that i think it's true confirmation like true documentation because somebody at least one of you guys is about to find out through true documentation but it's because they were careless and they left the paperwork out or they're or they're gonna leave the paperwork out so i think you might be a housekeeper possibly or you might be go over to their house on easter um or um christmas because we're in christmas season or what have you i mean you plug it in how it resonates if it's not somebody in the legal sector it could be a witness a person about to witness um, go in and testify, either subpoenaed or um, free willingly. Um, but some kind of documentation for one of you guys. But you're about to find, um, you're about to learn of it through that. But they're about to screw up and leave it out. And that's how you're going to find. So I think you might get invited over to their home, is what I'm saying. I think you might get invited over to their home. Or you might ride in a vehicle with them and you see it. Um, so, or you might work with them. You might work with them and you see it. Um, how, however you see it. Let's see if I hear anything else. And one person is going to learn word of mouth from another person, but then when they connect with the other person, series of chain events will lead to visual some on a phone, some paperwork laying out. Oh my God, so you plug it in, how it resonates. This is getting so juicy, holy crap. So, okay, so for another one of you guys, you're gonna learn from somebody else. So word of mouth, but like gossip training. But you're gonna learn it from somebody else, but it sounds like series of chain of events is gonna occur between you and that other person you learned it from, and you're gonna connect with them and probably hang out with them or go to an event with them or connect with them in some shape, form, or fashion to where other series of chain events occur. And you do see it. I heard you do see it with your eyes. Some on a phone, some on um, with actual documentation from the universe. I think legal documentation. And a significant pregnancy is very significant in here in some shape, form, or fashion. Mature man upright. The legal community is about to be very, very, very busy. Good for their pocketbooks. Oh, my God. 
Heard the legal community is about to be very, very busy, good for their pocketbooks. This Secret 7 situation has spurred many, many, many legalities, many, and will spur many, many, many more. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Oh my God, this is sad. So I heard the Secret 7 uh, situation has spurred many legal, um, basically business. Business is booming for the people in the Secret 7 communities, in the legal sector. So the judges, the lawyers, the bay, oh, well, I don't know about the bailiffs, but the judges and the lawyers and the um, paralegals and, you know, people that work in the lawyer's offices and, uh, the, and the courthouse, basically basically. Um, it's it's good for them. It's good for them because, buddy, they are in business. They are in business because it's good for them because they, they're employed because this is their job. <sighs> but let's step on, let's step on the rights and liberties of the freaking community, but let's get paid off of it. What? 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 Just saying? What? But I've heard basically, um, I'm sorry, that just, that pisses me off. That pisses me off. Pisses me off. Um, but I heard basically, um, somebody, um, oh, what was the last one? I'm sorry. Oh, somebody's about to step up. Somebody's about to step up. One significant masculine energy is about to become very, very integral in a fire sign feminine's life. Really going to deliver very pertinent, important, helpful information. Some in the legal sector, some detective. Oh my God, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so um, if this resonates with you, I heard a very significant um, masculine, mature masculine energy. Um, I did hear mature. So, you know, he could be 25 and be mature or he can be 55 and be mature. He comes off as an older looking man on here, but you could be 25 and be very mentally mature or be 55 and be very mentally immature or be 55 and be the most immature person ever. So it's not about your age. It's about your mental space, whoever this is for. But I heard basically um, he um, he's about to deliver a fire sign film. I heard very important information, important, useful communication and information. Some of these mature masculine energies, I heard they are detective energy. And for some, they are um, in the legal sector. And for some of you guys, fire sign films, it could be both. So you plug it in how it resonates. If you were the fire sign film, you could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates with you. Uh, possibly. And one Gemini feminine energy is about to become very, very significant in a Leo Fem energy's life. Very important information. Life changing. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so, um, and I heard a Gemini Fem energy is about to become very significant in a Leo Fem energy's life. Um, very important, significant, life-changing information. It's going to make the wheels start turning very fast. Okay, I heard it's going to start the wheel turning very fast. So you could be the Gemini Femme or the Leo Femme. Um, you could have Gemini in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts, or Leo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts, both Femme energies. Sounds like the Gemini is going to reach out to the Leo, deliver very, I heard important, life-changing information. It's about to make the wheel turn very fast. Sounds like for both of these people, but especially the Leo, but it might be for both. Um, it might be confirmation. It might be confirmation of hidden camera energy, possibly, or confirmation of something else. Some kind of confirmation energy is what I'm feeling. Um, I don't feel this Gemini Femme is in the gag order energy, I'll tell you that. I don't feel they're in the gag order energy. I feel they're on the outskirts energy of this crap. I feel, I absolutely do. I feel they're on the outskirts energy of this and not the gag order energy. Because there's a lot of people in some very important, high-profile, Secret 7S type lawsuits. Already, some have already been filed. Some are about to be filed. But I feel this Gemini Femme is on the outskirts of this crap. But they know about it in some shape, form, or fashion. Or they do about a hidden camera placed in a home in the past. However, that resonates. Um, now, 
I heard Gemini Femme. She's coming off as a mature woman, though. So, you know, energies can be reversed. It's coming off as a masculine energy. I think she's about to take on mature masculine energy because everybody takes on masculine and feminine energy. I don't care if you have a vagina or a penis. You take on masculine and feminine energy. So I think she takes on masculine energy in this situation, or she's about to. Meaning, she's a femme with a vagina, but she takes on masculine type energy, leadership leadership and assertion and she's going to reach out to this Leo fam and deliver a very important useful information so even though she has a vagina she's taking on assertion and leadership and she's about to get the wheel rolling her own self game changer energy here so she's even though she's a fam energy she's taking on masculine energy and I feel she's mature she can be 25 35 45 55 etc etc you plug it in how it resonates which is going to cause a change of energy as well, the 555. Okay, well, let me see if I hear anything else. Holy crap, this was a long one. In return, this Leo Feminine is going to help out this Gemini Feminine in many ways down the line. A bond is going to, going to be formed here. Okay, so we've got Gemini Femme and Leo Femme energy heavy in here. These people could have Leo or Gemini in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midham, or Jupiter charts. Two Femme energies with vagina parts. But um, I think they both are coming off as mature, to be honest. I do. Um, because I heard the Leo Femme is going to help out the Gemini Femme. The Gemini Femme is about to perpetuate this and start the ball rolling between these two, is what it sounds like. Um, now, however this Gemini knows Leo, I'm not sure, but they do know them, so you have to plug it in, whether you're the Leo Gemini, if you are, you have to plug yourself in where you fit, but um, I heard the Leo fam, since the Gemini is about to perpetuate this and deliver her some very life-changing, game-changing, five, five, five energy um, information over here, I heard the Leo is going to return it down the line and help out the Gemini fam in several ways down the line, so now whatever they are, you have to plug those in your life how you resonate if you are the Leo or Gemini in this situation. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, I love you guys so much because there's millions and billions of people in the world. Tons of situations, so, you know, you have to plug it in where you fit if you do, my dear. All right, I love you guys so much. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.